This episode of Paddle TV is brought to you by the ACA, improving the paddle sports experience for over a century. Learn more at AmericanCanoe.org. To make your river paddling experience as enjoyable and safe as possible, it's important that you have the right gear. And so that's what we're gonna look at in this video. Probably the most important gear to consider for a river canoeing trip is what you'll wear. When it comes to dressing for canoeing, if you're lucky enough to be dressing for warm conditions, your biggest challenge will be staying cool and protected from the sun. If you're paddling in cold water, you need to put more thought into your clothing. It needs to be comfortable enough to paddle in and warm enough to protect you if you capsize and find yourself swimming. The key for cold weather or cold water paddling is to use multiple layers of fabric that deal well with moisture and dry quickly, and more importantly, to be more conservative with your decisions on the water to avoid capsizing. Something else you'll need for a river canoeing trip is a good pair of water shoes. The footwear you choose should keep your feet warm when they're wet, let you get into and out of the canoe easily, and be comfortable enough to swim with. The next piece of gear you need is your most important piece of safety gear, which is your life jacket. Paddling specific life jackets are by far the best because they're comfortable and they don't restrict your movements when you're paddling. To make sure the life jacket fits right, snug it up and then haul up on the shoulder straps to make sure it stays in place and doesn't ride up around your ears. Something else to consider for safety's sake is choosing a bright color life jacket that will be seen easily on the water. Now that we've looked at what you should wear, let's move on to what you should bring on a river canoeing trip. Of course the gear you bring on the trip will depend on the type of trip you're doing. But there is some gear that should always be brought on your trip. For example, you'll want to bring a spare paddle in case a paddle gets lost or broken, as well as a first aid kit in some type of waterproof container. Don't forget the simple and more obvious items for your trip as well, like extra water and food and sun protection. Plus, if you're going to be in a remote location where walking out might not be an option, You'll want to bring a dry bag with extra clothing and other items that would make an unplanned night in the outdoors manageable. If you're paddling in class 2 whitewater or above, you'll want to have helmets for every paddler and boat flotation tied into the canoe. It's also a great idea to have throw ropes in every boat along with a rescue knife, although you need to know how to use both of them. The reality is that once you start paddling in class 2 whitewater or above, a lot of new variables come into play. And so the best thing to do is to take a whitewater canoeing course, which will teach you how to prepare for and how to navigate through more challenging whitewater. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did enjoy it, please subscribe to our Paddle TV YouTube channel because we have lots more canoeing tips and tricks coming your way.